विद्यार्थी भाई बहनी नमस्कार म सन्तोष सुवेदी कक्षा बाहर को विद्यार्थी भाई बहनी प्लेज इन ओन एक्ट क्लास ट्वेल्व को मेजर इंग्लिश में पच्चीस पूर्णांग को ये पुस्तक रहेमा विभिन्न वन एक्ट प्ले सवेश करोमे आज महिल राइडर्स टू दी भन एक्ट प्ले में कहीं महत्वपूर्ण कुछ तब बीच में सेयर करना गई भिडियो को अंत्यसम हेन अनुरोध कर साथ ही ये विषय वस्तु समेट अन्न भिडियो तब में मैं लियाई रहने यूट्यूब में गए मेरे चैनल सतोष सुवेदी सब्सक्राइब करी बेल आइकन में खींच दिन मनोरोध कर ओके लेट्स गो टू द टपिक राइजर्स टू दी ओके राइजर्स टू दी इज अ प्ले रिटन बाई आईरिश लिटररी रेनाइसेंस प्ले राइज जोन मिलिंगटन सिंज जोन मिलिंगटन सिंज हेज रिटन दिस प्ले इट वाज फर्स्ट परफॉर्म ऑन ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ फेब्रुवरी नाइनटीन जेरो फोर एट द मलेश्वर थ बाय द आयरिश नेशनल थिएटर सोसाइटी विथ हेलेन लाइट प्लेइंग मोरिया ओके मोरिया इज द सेंट्रल कैरेक्टर आर वी मे से प्रोटैगोनिस्ट आर इन दिस प्लेस इन दिस प्ले ओके आवर ओन एक स्ट्रेटजी राइडर्स टू द सी द प्ले इज सेट इन द ओरन आइसलैंड्स In his mind, and like all of Sinjay's plays, it is noted for capturing the poetic dialogue of rural life. The plot is based not on the traditional conflict of human wills, but on the hopeless struggle of a people against the impersonal but relentless cruelty of the sea. The calamity is caused by the sea. Is the content of this play. The writer Sinje Sinje's use of native native Irish language is part of the Irish literary revival. Operated when Irish literature looked to encourage pride in nationalism in Ireland. Uh, several scenes in the play are taken from stories since he collected during his time in the Oran Island and recorded in his book. The content and subject matter are truly based on the life visit of that particular island by the writer, playwright, Sinj. Uh, this includes the identifying of the drowned man. By his clothing, and the account of man's ghost being seen riding a horse. Now, as a play, uh, there are some characters. Let's know about the important characters of this play. Okay, Moria. When you say you, you can think of. महत्वपूर्ण पात्र अर्थात सेंट्रल क्यारेक्टर हम ग्रेप स्ट्रिक ऑन विडो एंड मदर अफ एट चिल्ड्रेन कैथलिन नोरा बार्टली सन सेमस स्टेफेन पैस एंड माइकल दिज आर हर चिल्ड्रेन कैथलिन एनदर इंपोर्टेन्ट क्यारेक्टर मोरिया चिल्ड्र डॉटर tries to keep her mother from dying from grief by identifying her decayed brother Michael Scorthy Nora Moria's younger daughter helps her sister with their mother Bartley as we have already know Moria's youngest and only living son has died by the end of the play Moria's sons other sons 
Sean, Seamus, Stephen, Patch, and Michael. Michael, as well as Moria's husband, are all decayed when the play begins. There is no pressed character. Which, there is also a pressed character who is never seen but is quoted by Kathleen and Nora in the beginning of the film. Amon Simon, Stephen Petty, and Colum Son are the neighbors and friends of Bart. So this is about the important character who are mentioned in this one act play. And let's discuss about the topic. Since this one act play rises to the sea, it was written in 1904, deals with life saying manner of manners of a cross section humanity while the play is concerned with local matters since it represents these matters with a universal interest in other words since like many great writers such as thomas hardy universalizes the experience of a particular individual or group of individuals while visiting that particular island. Yes, since the focuses our attention upon the aspect of life that absorbs the interest of humanity in general, this play has timeless appeal because its content draws attention to something that is essentially human. With the relevance of riders to the sea lies in its intensity of appeal and in its sense of contem contemporaneity. Since it was attracted to the way of life of foreign Islanders, when he heard a story of a body of man washed up on the island of Inisman, he decided to frame the story and the experience of commoners as a play. Thus, writers to the sea was born. This is about the topic. So let's discuss about the themes. So there are two themes working parallel to each other in this play. One is the sea the theme that grounds all the people's proceeding. And the other is women and foreboding. And the readers can predict from the title that something ominous is going to happen regarding to the sea. From the very beginning, we see Moria, the protagonist, talking about her sons who sacrificed their lives to the sea. The whole play revolves around fears concerning the sea. Moria also believes in omens. When Bartley, Moria's only living son, leaves their house without her blessing, Moria has a terrible vision and soon learns of Bartley's death. In this way, the two themes amalgamate with each other and create a perfect setting of setting for riders to the sea. Please screenshot. Okay, uh, in our previous slides also, uh, we had discussed about the major characters. In brief, is Moria. She has given birth, of, birth to six sons during her life on a coastal island, lying off the mouth of Ireland's Galway Bay. Four of them are already dead, along with their father and grandfather. It means uh, Moria has lost all her male members in her family. She is old and poor and fears that the extended and 
uncharacteristic absence of her son Michael means he is about to add it to the list of her dickest loved ones. As if worrying that Michael has drawn when not he know mistress, she also doesn't appear to be very successful at persuading her other remaining son, Barkley, from crossing over to the mainland in a bit to deal away of away a couple of horses. In the end, Moray has only her daughters to help with the cold comfort of knowing that there are no more men in her life for the sea to take from her. She feels at last a sense of peace and sincerity. Now that her greatest anxiety has been lifted. And the Bartley is an, another major character, youngest of Moria's section. When Michael's death is confirmed, he steps up to become the family's sole financial support. Uh, his, his means of supporting the family is what gives the play its title. He rides horses out to the sea and to the steamer ship, which must lay anchored far up so. The horses are sold at a fair on mainland. Mora refuses to give Bartley or blessing after having a vision of his implementing death. And Kathleen, another character, illest son of Moria, sorry, illest daughter of Moria, she's 20 years old. She commensurates with Bartley's position and is scornful of her mother's superstitions. In contrast to the somehow mystical bent of her mother, who is given to lamentations of women. Kathleen is pure practicality in action which is a great necessity when living with someone like Maury. Nora, the youngest member of the clan, Nora is much more patent with mother's penchant for self-pity than her oldest sister is. At the same time, she provides a great sounding boat for Kathleen to express her contrained views. Contrarian views. The priest is never actually seen on the on his stage, but his presence is so vital to the story that he must be considered at least as important a character as known. It is the priest who delivers the message through Nora that Moria must put her faith and trust, faith and trust in a God that would never allow every last one of her sons to die while she is still alive. He is younger and more modern than more. Okay, let's uh, discuss about the themes in details. Uh, the power of the sea. Catholicism versus paganism, tradition versus modernity, gender roles. Uh, these are major themes. Let's discuss in detail the power of the sea. The central theme of the text, the sea is right outside the cottage door, volatile, unpredictable, and implacable. 
it has taken almost of all more as male family members and is pleased to take the rest of them as well. It defies rationality and even God. The holy water is pitiful, pitiful reflection of it. Different, different characters relate to the sea in different ways. For Nora and Kathleen, the sea only matters in terms of losing family members because most of her, or we may say all of her male members, male family members were lost in the sea. For Moria, it is the great enemy. For the young Christ, it is of little importance. For Bartley, it is dangerous, but is a way of life. The potency of the sea in this play is in his meditation of the power of nature in of suffering. The next one, Catholicism versus Paganism. The play is stepped in traditional Irish Catholicism. There are prized blessings, holy water, etc. However, traditional, traditional Catholicism rests somewhat uneasy side by side with more pa pagan religious elements. Moria doesn't heed the price to empty native platitudes. So much as she looks to the stars and other natural phenomena for warning and signs. She knows more about the Iceland than he does. She is skeptical of his outsider status, and he is never even seen within the boundaries of the cottage. She hits the power of the sea much more than she hits God. It is only at the end of the text, when her battle with the sea is over, that she can peacefully submerge herself back into the rituals and rites of her Catholic faith. The next one, the next uh, main points are themes, tradition versus modernity. Okay, in the play, uh, Moria represents tradition, her children and young Christ on the other hand represents modernity. Uh, Moria knows everything about the Iceland and its particulars. Her religion is more paganistic than Catholic. Her views stubbornly held. She does not embrace new ideas of comforting Catholicism or commerce. She only knows, she only knows her small life, which is clear when she is worried to even leave her cottage. Moria's children, in contrast, are derived her senseless behavior and rigid adherence to our beliefs. They look beyond the island to the wider world. The young price is the connections between these two spaces. The tensions between the two words must impact Bartley, who understands the sea is dangerous but feels its pull because he is a man and must secure a livelihood for his family. At the end of the play, it is clear modernity. It is clear modernity ultimately dominate, but it is also clear that Moria's worldview it is still important and has much to teach the younger generation. The gender role.
the character in the text rigidly adhering to the prescribed gender roles of the time and place. Nora is relatively voiceless, while Kathleen is the keeper of the heart. Mora is the quintessential, quintessential mother, caring only for her family and the extension of its lineage. She worries, chastises, and mounds. Her sons are her main focus. She is not at all comforted by the fact that her daughters remain living. They are essentially useless in terms of what they can bring to the family. Is the man of the family at the opening of the play? Bartley's role is clear to provide for his family. Kathleen articulates that it is the life of a young man to be going on the scene. He is the provider and Morris fears that he will die as also related with related to the problems they will face. It is hard said well, it is hard said we will be surely the, the day you are drowned with the rest. What way will I live and the girls with me and I in a world woman looking for the grave? Okay, so uh, let's uh, discuss about symbols, allegory and uh, motifs are uh, used in this play. A symbol, the whiteboards, the whiteboards of the whiteboards for the caffeine, which remain on the screen for the du duration of the play, symbolize the imminence of Bartley's death. Symbol, next symbol, water on the bodies. The water on the bodies of Patch and Bartley is a critic Dennis Dungu writes a symbol of the way by which death comes from the sea straight to the house to the family. A spinning wheel and a hearth. Next symbol. Kathleen is always involved with the spinning wheel and the hearth which is appropriate given the fact that these two things are symbols of women's work and the pervasiveness of gendered labor. This is notable in a play so concerned with the traditional separation by gender. Bartley is the provider, Kathleen is the baker, Michael was a provider, etc. And rope. Next symbol. The rope symbolizes Bartley's imminent death as he fashions a halter for the horse. He is actually fashioning a halter for his own neck. That rope was always intended to lower a coffin into a grave. And now that grave will be Bartley's. Another symbol is holy water. The holy water symbolizes purification, sensitivity, and traditional Catholicism. It is benevolent water, anodyne water. It stands in contrast to the powerful water of the sea. Okay, let's talk about metaphor. The title. The title Riders to the Sea is actually a metaphor. On the one hand, it refers to the riders of the text, such as Bartley and Michael riding down to the sea to carry out their business. On the other hand, this is a metaphor for death. Is the ride to the sea, the ride to their ultimate fate. This recalls the biblical writer death on his place, sorry, on 
his pillars rises to the sea iron dramatic iron the young priest the young priest confident assertion that god will not leave moria without any sons is irony first in the priest confidence and second in that he is supposed to have the most intimate connection to god and be able to discern his will most effectively it his claims in of being entirely false dramatic irony the coffin there is tragic irony in the coffin being originally intended for michael and then actually being used for bartley who even took the rope that was going to be used to lower the caffeine in the ground dramatic irony is more yeah. throughout the play there is considerable uh, disdain and dismissal levied at the uh, elderly more yeah. but in the end of the text she is the one who ironically turns out to be correct regarding the dangers of the sea uh, another irony dramatic dramatic irony the horses tragically and ironically barte believes the horses will secure him money and security but instead the grey pony actually leaves him to his death uh, so in this way how we can analyze the first play our plays in first play of the book plays in one h the topic was riders to the sea i uh, thank you for watching till the end uh, your suggestion and feedbacks are heartily welcome to improve myself for more videos please subscribe to my youtube channel as santosh vedi thank you thank you very much